Beerston, Estrid said you'd be here. Eivor, dear heart, you who drew back the bow... Have your thanes asked why you do not look for Estrid? Pish. They have asked, yes. I said it was hopeless. Then I lay upon my couch, sobbing and wailing. A pretty show. That may not be enough. Tut tut. The wind is soft upon our faces, and I am far from the whispering doors of Colchester. Come, let's hunt! Remember, it's your thong if I swear. What are we hunting now? Boar! A majestic animal, don't you think? Driven by a fierce fire, blazing eyes, and sword tusks. I once knew a strong armed shield maiden who rode a boar into battle. She named it Bristlebold. How wondrously strange. Your tales are worthy of the hearing. We'll not ride our boars, but eat them. A feast in Alvida's honor. A feast for your mistress? Birsten, if this ruse falls apart, King Alfred will strip you of your title. Our alliance would be worthless. Have no fear. I shall be discreet. We will eat and sup at my hall with a few friends and family. It is there our friendship will be sealed. So soon after Lammas, will people there not recognize me? No, you are just one more Dane. And in that chaos, who remembers anything but the screams of dear Estrid? These are your lands. I trust in your judgment. And how is Olvida? She is a firebrand. We have rekindled our love as if we were teenagers. Even Ellerich is a welcome addition. A younger brother to me, yet more alike to a son. The things I should like to teach him. Ah, this is the spot. The best boar here. Feast table won't fill itself. I shall suck the scrumptious marrow from your bones, you porcine devil! This table won't fill itself. You will serve my love well, Hog. A haunch well, my bow arm aches. We did well, Eivor. A good hunt, Beston. And enough for one day, I think. Even my thanes will not go hungry with this catch, and they- They may give you grief, but- You have brought us all true happiness, Eivor. Beston. The heart hound, who sought his true love. Beautifully said, my come, Percy, you hapless hound. Barely a boar worried, I do. <laughs> what are your plans for Essex and your family? There is much that is new in this old fling. Alvada is changed. The girl I fell in love with lies behind years of hardship. And Elleridge? A soft lad, but with a heart as stout as his sister's. Their closeness does them both credit. The way he looks at me is often strange. His eyes furtive and downcast, like a hound waiting for his master's crop. It worries me, to be honest. Can I be both a brother to him and a love to his sister? Give him time, Birsta. He had his sister to himself all his life. Yes, yes. But tell me, Eivor, did you succumb to my flighted bird's charms? 
She can turn one a tremble with her eyes. You're talking of Estrid? Do not be coy. It does not suit you. Are you jealous, Biston? After casting her aside? Of course not. I could not be happier. I only wondered for her sake. All that to say, I am only glad she has found a chance at happiness again. Lord knows I could not give her that. But these are grim thoughts, and I will not let them lay their cold grip upon me. Tonight, we feast and celebrate. Stir the soul as the hunt did. But now my Alvador is here. All is changed. Oh, Bearston. You promised we would never be apart. Not for one waking or sleeping moment. And already you're sneaking out to hunt. <laughs> For the feast, sweetling. We owe our mutual friend a great debt. One that I promised to repay over suckling pig and ale. Sister, have you forgotten where you are? I have a right to happiness, Elreach. Or am I to play nursemaid forever, you ungrateful pup? Happiness, yes. But you embarrass yourself nightly, heaving and sweating with this hamhock. Hold your tongue, boy. Lest we both speak our truths. What truth have you to speak? That you've returned to this fickle man who abandoned you years ago for a Frankish pet. A woman he paid this dame to abduct in that Lamish shadow play. Mind yourself, boy. Or that you let him sniff and paw you. The whole of Essex whispers now. I am the mother of his child, you whelp. Child? Alvida? Please, my boy, I... I... I will never forgive you for this. My lord, joyous news. God smiles upon us this very day. Estrid has been found by Alfred's men. They ride to her rescue as we speak. I will not let this plot be undone. Nothing is safe till they are away to Frankia. I will fix this. And one day I will call on you, and you will come. You can count on it, my friend. I wanted to tell you so many times.
that sound. Almost human, but gods. Yeah. Esther is so close to freedom. I hope I'm not too late. <laughs> Stand by Estrid. Guard her with your life. If she's taken, all is lost for us and Beast. Come, lady. It would not do for them to take you back. Watch out! <laughs> Lark! Lark! I promised I would free you of your life in Wessex. Frank here awaits your return. Go now, with Aegir's blessing. I will miss you. When winter is past, summer will come. Goddess Freya, give me more of that. Come, take care of her, Rollo Stoutheart. And if you find yourself on England's shores again, I will expect you in my hall. Good. They are safe. Beerston got his end of the bargain. And Estrid is to Frank here. I should return to Randvi.
What have you got for me today? All my pieces are good, but that one's very good. I will see you. Put that gear to good use out there. Quatidon the Eivor. An Essex, I played a matchmaker and a heartbreaker. An easy way to forge an alliance, but... Let us stick to war and diplomacy. Understood. Thank you, Eivor.